All right, Matt, it's time for us to talk. It's word problem time. All right, so word problems, right? Maybe some of your favorites. Um, so I've been helping tons of folks out this week with word problems. So I was like, you know what? I bet you there's a lot of math leads uh, that might be working with this too. Or if they worked with it, they had no idea what they were doing and they need help. All right, so let's jump in these uh, just so we could get an idea. We're gonna focus today on the age word problems. Um, and, but again, this thinking that I wanna show you, and I'm gonna be thinking out loud here so you could see how I set these up because setting this up is 90% of the battle, right? Solving, uh, that's the, the easier part, right? Because we have techniques, but setting the scene up, that's usually what takes um, some time, right? That's what usually people struggle with. So let's look at this. All right, so Michael is 12 years older than Brandon, all right? Uh, 17 years ago, Michael was four times as old as Brandon. How old is Brandon? And I just threw this part in. And how tall is he? Because that's how word problems feel sometimes, right? So don't worry about the, the height. That was just me being me. All right, so Michael, we'll call Michael's age, uh, we'll just say that's M. Brandon's age is B. So it says Michael is, and we know is in math is equals. So we're going to say his age, Michael is... 12 years older than Brandon. So however um, old Brandon is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 12, all right? Because Michael is 12 years older. And when we're saying older, right, that's addition because we're adding some years in. So that's where the plus 12 comes, right? And if we just put some numbers in to kind of think of it, let's say Brandon was six then six plus 12 is 18, so that means Michael would be 18, so that makes sense. So always plug in numbers uh, just to see if your setup actually makes sense. So that's the first pro tip I would give you right there, all right? And so 17 years ago, so whatever ages they are now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract 17 because we're looking at 17 years ago, so their ages would be less. Uh, Michael was, and that's kind of like Michael is, right? So Michael was, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say Michael minus 17, right? Because it's 17 years ago. Uh, Michael was four times, so four times as old as Brandon. So Brandon's age, but not his age right now, his age 17 years ago. All right, so 17 years ago so that's why we did that minus 17 there and now um, we have two equations right we have two equations here and we have two unknowns and so what I'm gonna do we're looking to see how old Brandon is so I'm gonna solve this so that I'm left with a B um, because again I want everything in terms of B because I'm trying to find Brandon's age all right so notice they tell us that M, Michael's age, is B plus 12. So over here, wherever I see a M, I'm gonna plug in B plus 12. So I'm gonna use a substitution method in this case. All right, so we're left with B plus 12, right? Because here M, there's my M, is the same thing as B plus 12, and then I'm gonna have this minus 17. Minus 17, and what does that equal? Well, it equals four times B minus 17. And if you want, you could put, uh, put this in parentheses so that you know you replace that M, you replace this M with the B plus 12. So if you wanna color code that, right, the B plus 12, that's what M equals. So wherever you saw M, you just plugged in the B plus 12 there. So on our left-hand side, let's go ahead and combine our like terms. Uh, the 12 and the negative 17. There's nothing to distribute, so we can just go ahead and combine like terms. On our left, our right-hand side, excuse me, we're gonna distribute, all right? So let's go ahead and let's do that. So just to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes, on live TV, uh, we're gonna get B minus five, and then we're gonna get four B minus 68. All right, and so let me just make sure that's a B right there because it looks like a 13. All right, so now it's up to you, mathletes. Do you want to move your Bs to the left-hand side, to the right-hand side? It doesn't matter, right? So I'm gonna subtract one B from both sides and I'm left with negative five 
equals 3b, right? Because 4b minus 1b is 3b minus 68. Uh, let's go ahead and add 68 to both sides. So I'm going to add 68, add 68. And let me put my answer up here. So we're going to be left with 63 equals 3b, right? Once we have negative 5 plus uh, 68 there. So 63 divided by 3, we're going to get 21. But just to verify, again, I don't want to make any little silly mistakes. So we get B, which is Brandon's age. So Brandon is 21 years old. All right. And we see that he's also six foot two. Nah, just messing with you. All right. So again, the setup is always where you're going to make your money. All right. So I want to do three of these examples. Um, so there's number one. All right. Make sure you smash that like button and follow me to number two. All right, question two here. So let's look at Big Ben. Big Ben is four years as old as Dr. Math, right? So four times as old as Dr. Math, and Dr. Math's 21. So six years ago, uh, Ben was six times as old as Dr. Math. All right, so how old is Dr. Math? And I was just messing. Not 21, or am I? So let's go ahead and figure this out. So Ben, we're going to call Ben's age B and Dr. Math's age D. And it says Ben is. So Ben equals. So we have Ben equals Dr. Math's age times four. All right. So there's our first equation. And then our second equation says six years ago. So we know from Ben's age and Dr. Math's age, we're going to go ahead and subtract six, right? Ben was six times as old as Dr. Math. So six years ago, so we're gonna do Ben's age minus six, right? Cause that's six years ago. He was, so that equals six times as old as Dr. Math is. But again, that was six years ago. So that's why I'm subtracting the six. So let's go ahead and solve this. And I'm gonna distribute uh, the 60. So we're left with B minus six equals 6d minus 36. And because it's easier, I have two equations here. Um, it's easier to substitute b equals 4d. So wherever I see a b, I could just plug in the 4d. And that's perfect because I do want to know how old Dr. Math is. So everything's going to be in terms of d. All right, so that's perfect. Uh, so wherever I see this b, I'm going to plug in 4d. So we get 4d. Uh, minus 6 equals 60 minus 36. And now all we do is we solve. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Or let's go ahead and subtract 4D to both sides. And while we're at it, let's add 36 uh, to both sides. All right. So I'm going to move all my constants, my numbers that don't have variables to the left, and all my variables to the right. So let me write it up here so we can all see better. So we're left with 30 equals 2D. And now divide both sides by D and you guys are generous. I know I look like I'm 15 years old, but you're a little bit off. All right, so there is our answer to number two. All right, last one, follow me mathletes. All right, last problem. So let's do this mathletes. So Kevin is three times as old as Daniel. And we know that four years ago, Daniel was five times as, excuse me, Kevin was five times as old as Daniel. So press pause and try to do this one on your own based on your notes of what we just looked at, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and jump on this and let's see how you did. So Kevin, we're gonna say Kevin, his age is K. Daniel, we'll say is D. And so our first sentence says Kevin is, so Kevin equals three times however old Daniel is, all right? Four years ago, so we know we're gonna subtract the four from both of their ages, right? So we're gonna say four years ago, Kevin was five times as old as Daniel. So Kevin was, so four years ago, that's why we did a Kevin minus four, was, we know that's equals, five times however old Daniel was. So Daniel's age minus four, because that was four years ago. All right. So again, there's our setup and let's do exactly what we did. So let's go ahead and wherever we see a K, 
we're gonna plug in these this 3d right here all right so we get 3d minus 4 equals 5d minus 20. all right we're gonna subtract 3d from both sides subtract 3d from both sides and we're gonna add 20 while we're at it to both sides so we're left with 16 equals 2d divide both sides by 2 right because we're trying to solve for d and we get d equals 8 right and so right now I know Daniel is 8 years old and um, here I don't even know who they're looking for so I'll just say we're looking for Kevin's age just to make things a little bit more interesting so this is Daniel's age 8 years old so for Kevin we would do 3 times 8 right because 3 times Daniel's age so Kevin is 24 years old all right math leads so hopefully that was helpful again setting up any word problem read it over and over and over and make sure you use all the information that they give us uh that they give us in which is stuff that's useful for the problem right so later on what we're going to see is what happens when they give us information that we don't need so really make sure you understand how to dive into these problems all right, hope you're having a good day. Make sure you sub uh, subscribe, smash that like button, help us out, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. All right, mathletes, thanks for watching. And again, if you like this video, we have some other videos that we think you might enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.